<sighs> one chapter of my life is over, and a new one begins. That's what I told myself after defeating Bellos. And yet, I feel like I'm back where I started. Back in the place where everyone hates me. Or I'm just a screw up that gets sent to the principal's office on a daily basis. No Titan, no magic. Even with String Bean, I feel like I can't call myself a witch. I can't even go back to Hexide. Mom said I need to require some real world skills. I know what she meant, but the way she phrased it implied that the demon realm isn't real. But it is real. It's more real to me than this place ever was. If it weren't for Mom and V, I'd leave the human realm behind me in a heartbeat. It's funny. V isn't even from the human realm and she fits in here better than I ever could. Of course, I do better at Hexide, so we're kind of like sisters in that way. Being here has become so depressing. I sincerely become nostalgic for the days when I worried my locker might eat me. Heck, I miss everything about Hexide. The screaming bells, the weird food, the occasional pixie infestation. But mostly, I miss my friends. Willow, Gus, Viney, Amira, Edric, Jerbo, Barkus, Hunter, Skara. I'll even take Bosch over any human here. But most of all, I miss Am- Move it or lose it, Scarface. These halls are for walking, not moping, so take your emo stick somewhere else. Seriously, I thought that special camp was supposed to fix head cases like you, but somehow you came back even more unbearable. I suppose you would be the authority in all things unbearable. What are you going to get through that dumb beanie of yours that nobody wants you here, loser? We were all better off not putting up with your weirdness. Maybe the next time they ship you off to crazy camp, have the good sense to stay there. What, and give up all this? You really want to get smart with me, no brain, eh? No one way or another, we're going to make you learn your place. Hey! I just met you four, so you're entitled to one warning. Stay away from my lose. Sweet potato! <laughs> Holy Titan, I can't believe you're here! But whatever, I'm just so happy to see you! Me too! I actually have something I wanted to tell you about, but then I saw you in trouble, and Excuse me, but who invited you to this discussion? And you realize that's Luz Nosa that you're hugging, right? I hope you had your crazy shots. What a peculiar choice of last words. Uh, you gonna let her talk to you like that, Sky? Hmm. <laughs> And for your woefully limited information, I'm perfectly aware of who I'm hugging. I wouldn't be such an awesome girlfriend if I wasn't. Girlfriend? You actually want to date this screw loose? Not the best way to make a first impression around here. I don't remember asking for your opinion. And if you insult Luz one more time, my first impression is going to be a boot print in your fundament. And make sure to let everyone here know that Luz knows it is off limits. Try anything with her, you answer to me. Wow, okay, you two. Must have met at the same dunce camp, because I don't think you realize what you're getting into here. Are you kidding me, human- I mean, lose? These drags are giving you such a hard time? Seriously, you wouldn't let me get away with anything like that at Hexide? What's up, Luz? Andy left us in the dust before we could get ready. If these guys are bothering you, we can give you a hand. Hey, cutie. Ooh, let's challenge him to a grugby match. Oh, yeah, well, we were on our way to class anyway. Uh, you guys, it's so awesome you're here, but why? You didn't hear, Luz? Yeah, we all go to this school now. Say what? Yeah, we're learning human stuff. You can thank your mom for that. It was her idea, the PCA approved. Amity, is this for real? It sure is, and your principal assigned you to be your chaperone. You know, once Camilla told him to. You're looking at the members of the all-nude Hexide Exchange Program. <laughs> Woo!